budger lumps and masses in the breast are not unusual, and most of them are not cancerous. But when a breast biopsy is recommended, patients may opt for a minimally invasive alternative to surgery known as image-guided core needle biopsy. We spoke with Dr. Melvin Silverstein at Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach to find out more. The best way to diagnose breast cancer is with a needle biopsy. Uh, up until about 10 to 15 years ago, all biopsies were open surgical biopsies. That means you had to come into a hospital or a surgery center and the surgeon made an incision in your breast and took out a lump or an abnormality and then determined within the next day or two whether or not it was cancer. Currently, the best way to diagnose a lesion is to have a needle biopsy or an image-guided biopsy. That way, using ultrasound or mammography or even an MRI to guide the needle into the spot, uh, you can get a little bit of tissue out and make the diagnosis. Now, it turns out that about 80% of all abnormalities that we see on imaging that we biopsy are benign. So we can save 80 people out of 100 a trip to the operating room. That saves about $2,000 a patient. Multiply that times a, a million and a half biopsies done every year, that's a lot of money. About 30% of all the biopsies in the United States are still open breast biopsies, open surgical biopsies. And the truth is, it shouldn't be 30%, it should be less than 5%. There's very few lesions in the breast that cannot be biopsied with a needle. And if patients were aware of this, they would demand needle biopsy. A needle biopsy is a simple outpatient procedure. Local anesthesia is injected into the breast. And then you use whatever imaging modality found the lesion, you use that to guide the needle. For example, if you can see an abnormality on ultrasound, then you simply use an ultrasound probe to help you guide a needle right into the correct place and take a biopsy. If you could only see the lesion on mammography, then you'd use a stereotactic table and mammography to help guide the needle into the right spot. But it's quite easy. Uh, it takes 15 or 20 minutes to actually do the biopsy and the patient can get up off the biopsy table and leave. She can drive home, she can go back to work, she can do whatever she needs to do uh, without any real downtime. Most patients are gonna find that if they go to a, uh, an interdisciplinary breast center or a radiology type breast center that they'll be able to get it done there and get it done by people who do a lot of them. I think it's most important to find somebody who does uh, needle biopsies all year long to get somebody who does it well and generally this is going to be at a certified breast center. It's very important to have radiologists who specialize in breast imaging reading your images and doing your breast biopsy. In the olden days, a woman who found a lump in her breast would have to see her general doctor, she'd get referred to a surgeon, and it would probably take about two weeks before she ever got to an operating room and got a biopsy. Today, it's possible to feel a lump go directly to a breast center where the lump can be imaged and biopsied the same day and you can probably have an answer in 24 hours. So today, the whole timetable has been sped up and we can get you in and out quickly and get an answer quickly. How a mass is detected does not determine whether it is cancerous. Breast lumps should be evaluated by a physician experienced in diagnosing breast cancer. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.